the last I talked about um, my that I am bipolar and I have um, you know PTSD and BPD all that I unfortunately my medicine was working but I had allergic reaction and you guys probably will not be able to tell in in the um, video let me see if i can move you but all my skin like you see how red it is i like broke out in hives see yeah you can see that all over my body on my face all down my arms really splotchy uh, my stomach you see that so my whole body is extremely itchy so i had to stop my medicine and switch and then go to CVS and they were saying that my insurance would not cover it. And I was like, hey, what? Like it covered, you know, I just, I didn't understand that because I've never had run into that issue. So they were trying to charge me $500 for my new medicine. And I'm really stressed out, or I was really stressed out because you know, I don't want to go without medicine, especially when I started feeling good. It's like going your, pretty much your whole life feeling like a certain way. And then when you actually start feeling better on medicine, you're like, wow, this is how good I'm supposed to feel. Holy crap. Like, I don't ever want to go back to how I was feeling. I thought that was normal and it wasn't. Um, so I had a little bit of anxiety of like, I don't want to go back to feeling that way and you know, whatever, like if I can't get my medicine. U.S. government, let me tell you, anyways, <laughs> uh, or healthcare, um, but thankfully, I talked to my psychiatrist, and she's literally the best psychiatrist freaking I've ever had, like, I've had good psych psychiatrists, but she's already went above and beyond, she, um, when I had my allergic reaction, she texted me and was like, are you breathing okay, well, well you know, she's really concerned, and she fit me in really fast, to um, talk to me about what I was experiencing and it was a last minute appointment so to me it like made me feel really good um that she was concerned and you know saw me as a priority as her patient um like doctors are supposed to but I just I don't know I felt very relieved that you know she was trying to help um as fast like that fast um and so anyways i told her about how when i went to pick up my new medicine they were trying to charge me out of the butt and said that my insurance wasn't gonna cover and i didn't know how much my deductible was at the time like i was you know flustered and whatever and she said let me do this she's like i'm gonna move it to heb he um i have a coupon i'm gonna give you for over there all set so i was like okay and she said it'll make it ten dollars i was like what the okay so we do that we go to heb I don't even have the have to use the coupon because HEB is like, oh, we have a coupon. I'm sure it'll make it super cheap. And it did. It made it literally go down to $11. So $10, $11, is like same thing. So I didn't use the coupon she gave me, but I was like, those little fuckers. Because CVS could have easily, they're not going to because they want you to stay with them, right? But it's really messed up. I want everybody to know this that if you go to pick up your medicine and you can't and they're telling you your insurance and they don't have any ask them for coupons and see if their coupons work if it don't work go somewhere else because i learned something today that i did not really know i knew what like they had coupons but i didn't know there was a chance that i could literally just move my medicine to a different like company different store and get it literally for dirt cheap when that one place was not gonna give it to me unless I paid $500. So, the more you know. And now I have medicine, new medicine. Hopefully it works 
and works just as good as my other one and there's no bad side effects like I had with the other one. <laughs> hey guys, um, so it's the next day, um, maybe two days later, I don't know, but I was showing you guys my rash and I went to the doctors twice and finally on the second time we figured out what it is and it's um, Steven's, Steven Johnson syndrome. Um, you may or may not know what that is, but it's a, a reaction that you get if you take like a medicine that is like you're allergic to or something. Um, and yeah, um, I'm very lucky. Um, so that, that was surprising to me. I didn't even know that was, that was like a thing. Like I knew that syndrome was a thing, but I didn't know that not that many people survive from it. So I'm, I still think I'm processing that because holy shit, like also, I still have it. I'm on medication now, actually, for it. Um, so, and I have it all over my body. So, if my face looks a little dry and red, that's why. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, I, I you know I said in the last vlog that I wanted to show like the good and bad um, parts of my life because this is part of it. Whenever you're trying to find medicine that works with your body, and it was working mentally for me, but physically my body was like, no, no, don't like, we don't like this. <laughs> leave, leave, get out. Um, but yeah, so I still have a little bit of blurry eye and that's from the syndrome. Um, I used to not be able to get out of bed without feeling sick. Um, oh, I'm so itchy. It's so itchy. Um, but yeah, for the longest time, they didn't know what it was. Like, everybody was just thought, as, oh, it's a normal rash. Like, if you're allergic to something, it's a reaction. Just use some Benadryl and blah, blah, blah. But I knew there was something else going on because it was, first off, it's, it was lasting. It's lasting forever. And usually, if it's just like, I don't know, you're allergic to something that's a normal rash, it doesn't take that long. Because I stopped taking my medicine. A week ago and it should only took a couple days for um for my skin to heal and you know all that stuff to heal but it never has it's only gotten worse so yeah that's why i ended up going back to the doctor i'm pretty lucky um didn't realize how lucky until after the doctor was like wow <laughs> like he was he was shocked um and i didn't know it was that serious um, so, I was, like, really nauseous for the past week. I couldn't stand up without feeling like, like I was going to throw up. Um, my blurt, my blurt, my vision got blurry. I also had a tremor, trim. Also started stuttering. That's also a symptom. I'm really lucky, I really am. Um and at the same time like it's kind of weird to think oh like you literally could have died and you would have not known <laughs> yeah it's just kind of nuts to think about that um about what could have happened because i've never had a rash before i had no idea and it's like huh, hey hey here's your first rash it may or may not kill you you almost died but you didn't, so, <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty crazy, but now I have to, I have no medicine, and that was honestly the happiest I've ever felt in my life, and it's gonna go away, um, and I'm probably gonna go back to being manic and stuff, which sucks, but, um, part of the process uh, it's you know obviously once I heal up and all that um I'll be able to try something new hopefully something that doesn't have a rash 
um, issue or whatever. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I don't know what I can show, honestly. But yeah, you can't see. You can't see it. But it's literally from here, from here all the way down to my top of my foot. The only place it's not is my palms and my bottom of my feet. <laughs>